What's going on guys? So today I am out here at Holiday World RV out here in Dallas, Texas. And we're gonna take a look at this really awesome Class B. This is a ProMaster based off a of Ram 3500 chassis called the Sequence. This is a very, very cool Class B van. And I know that there's a lot of folks who are interested in these Class Bs because they give you so much comfort, so much capability, all in a package that can get in and out of just about anywhere. And that's the really nice thing. I think the only feature this one's probably missing that I'd like is four wheel drive. But, you know, there's a lot to like about this. With me is my good friend, Miles. He is one of the sales consultants out here at uh, Holiday World, and he also has his own YouTube channel. So you wanna talk about that for a second? Yeah, so my YouTube channel is called Miles RVs. I've been making YouTube videos here at our dealership for about two years now and have nearly 150 videos now on YouTube. So it's been really awesome to get to work with big truck, big RVs. And that is one of the first channels that I came across when I got into this industry to learn more about it. My family's had RVs since I was 12 years old and we've had like seven now. But when you get on a lot with all this different inventory, it's great to be able to go to YouTube to learn this information. And Big Truck, Big RVs was one of the first pages I came across. So it's really fun now to get to make these videos together for y'all. And one thing I try to do is I try to make really in-depth videos. So if you go to my channel, you'll see a lot of them are about 30 to 45 minutes long for one individual unit. So I try to go really in-depth for y'all and give you a lot of that more under the hood type stuff that you wouldn't typically see at first eyes glance as well. Yeah, I'm like the Sam's Club sample. <laughs> and then he's when you buy the whole bag of the chicken nuggets. Yeah, exactly. So anyways, we're looking at this really awesome, is it a 2022? This is a 2022, yep. 2022 sequence. And, and it's, um, it's the 20L model is what it is. So that's the, the model number on it. Okay, model 20L and honestly, the reason why I don't show a lot of motorized units on my channel is because there are so many details about them that change year to year, style to style, chassis to chassis. Um, there's so many components that are different and you have to remember all that stuff. And the way I film RVs, I'd have to have a whole spec sheet with me. And he actually has his spec sheet up on this. Everything on so. my phone, so it's all ready to go. But yeah, yeah. so some of the stuff you'll want to know about the engine and things like that, it does come on the Ram ProMaster chassis, you're gonna have the 3.6 liter Pentstar V6 engine. You're gonna have 280 horsepower and 260 foot-pounds of torque on this motorhome here. Okay. And let's see what other stuff. You're gonna wanna know like your tank sizes. You have a fuel capacity of 24 gallons. Um, a lot of people are gonna wanna know like miles per gallon. That obviously is gonna vary drastically on how you drive, but it's gonna get somewhere probably in that 16 to 19, maybe 20 miles per gallon, depending on how you drive, somewhere in that range. Pause. If you had a YouTube channel reviewing cars, miles per gallon. Ah, oh, there There's the name. <laughs> okay, continue. What's right. the length of this unit? Uh, the length of this unit here, let's find the spec on that. It's gonna be right at around 20 feet. That's what I was about to say, yeah, maybe so 19, The interior length without the ladder is 21, 21 feet, one inches. Then you add the ladder on the back that we'll look at in a second. And it's probably gonna be closer to about 22 to 22 and a half feet. Okay, well, let's start on the outside of this unit, then work our way inside of this one. So cool. we typically look at the numbers, but we just went over the numbers. <laughs> All right, so from this side, real quick, we can see we have our sliding door, the main entry. We have a little cutout in the glass here, which is gonna be interesting to see what that is when we get inside. Sure. You have your propane connection right here for a grill. You have some power outlets on this side. What are we looking at back here? So this here is gonna be like a bike rack type of setup that you have back here. And this is all your back entrance into the bathroom as well. So when you open these doors up, it's pretty cool. I call these like an ultimate freedom vehicle. The reason why is you can just park these just about anywhere mm -hmm. and get the camping experience you want without being attached to a campsite. So you can imagine being parked on like a beach or being parked in the mountains just off on the side of the road or up in the middle of the woods somewhere. And you can open these doors up and shower with nature essentially with how this yeah. bathroom is set up, which we'll see in just a second. But yeah, pretty cool setup back here. And then you also have the backup camera up top as well. This has just a really cool look overall to it around to this side we have all of our water connections sewer hose access this is going to be your exhaust you got your waste access down there at the bottom right here is going to be for your propane i imagine right yep. yeah that's going to be all your propane connections there and then we have your 30 amp connection right here plus your cable connection right there yep and for your tank sizes and stuff like that because i know a lot of y'all probably want to know that information as well you have a 27 gallon fresh water you're going to have a 13 gallon waste water and a 13 gallon gray water perfect up top, I can already see we got some solar. How much solar is up top, do you know? So on this one, it is a 190 watt panel that is up there. Okay, and you told me something very unique about this vehicle. Let's walk around to the front real quick. 
So, I'm not gonna lie, I am not a huge fan of the look of the Ram Promaster. I kind of like a Sprinter look over that, or the Ford look, but this is just, this has always been kind of weird to me. Yeah. So, the biggest thing that this Thor sequence is coming with this year for just the different experience you have in the tech in here is they got rid of the generator. So there's no generator on here, but you still get all the same functionality you would have with that generator with the additional additional alternator that they put underneath the hood here that is working with your solar panel and the new lithium ion battery system. So you have two lithium batteries on here that is going to power this entire unit. So whether basically when you're out camping, how this is going to work, if you want to charge those batteries, which will essentially be running with the 3000 watt inverter that it comes with everything on this RV, all you have to do is turn on the engine and it is going to charge your batteries in there. And then the solar panel is also going to give you additional charge from that as well. Then you have really cool monitoring systems inside that tell you your exact battery level, how much battery life you have left based on how much power usage is being used at the moment. A lot of really detailed information. And this is going to allow you to, with cleaner emissions, still run your entire RV remotely free of a campsite hookup or anything like that. That's really cool. So essentially, instead of having an onboard generator, you can use the engine as your generator exactly. with the second alternator. Yeah, exactly. All right, gonna go ahead and open this up so we can see inside. I try to give you this really cool cinematic panning. All right, hop on in. Yeah. So first thing I like to point out when you come in here, I'm 6'1", almost 6'2", probably with these shoes on. And you can see I have this ceiling height here. You also have a soft touch ceiling as well. So same thing you would have in like a high-end Class A motorhome. It's so really nice finishes in here all around. It feels really luxury and quality. Then you have like the high gloss finishes on all your cabinetry that looks really nice as well. All soft closed cabinets. You get the swivel seats up front, which a lot of people are gonna like. And then they also have some cool features as well. Like this is something I was just playing around with. It might actually hit this area up here, but you have a couple adjustments here to actually change the seat height as well. And just get your ultimate desired comfort seating position while you're driving things like that. You have lumbar support and obviously can adjust the backrest as well. So it can get a really comfortable experience driving and then you can seat up to four in here with the seat belts that'll be on the sofa behind us as well. Okay, let's pan back here real quick. So here is the sofa that he's speaking about and this is a bed. And I'm assuming this can lay flat and turn into a much larger bed? Correct, yeah. So that is something you have these rails. There's a rail system underneath here where these pull out across and these rails are going, when you pull them out, are going to allow you to pull these mattresses together and get a bigger, larger sleeping area as well. Very cool. Love the cabinetry work in here. These class Bs, I'm not gonna lie, they're, they're pretty expensive. They've never really, in my opinion, been something that you go towards if you are trying to find the lowest cost RV out there. Cause cost per square foot, a class B is probably the most expensive of any RV you yeah, can buy. Definitely. Um, and that being said though, the quality that they try to give you for that cost is is generally much higher than you would typically see in other RVs. Oh yeah, without a doubt. And if we move back here, you're gonna see you have your bathroom area here. So again, same thing, have all the ceiling height that you need here, even for someone like me. And you're gonna have this bathroom set up back here. This actually flips up to give you access to your toilet underneath here. And then this comes down to give you your sink. So really well thought out designs with this stuff in the Class B motorhomes, because you are dealing with such a small area that you have to work with, that they get real creative with their space. And then you have all of, I'll let him walk in here with the camera, but you're gonna have all your wardrobe closet space in here. You're doing good, let me turn some lighting okay, on, cool. so. So yeah, this is basically what's gonna be your wardrobe closet there. And then you have the pull out drawers underneath it as well. So, and everything is high gloss, so it looks really good. And then if you wanna make sure these are protected while you're taking a shower, it does have the privacy curtain. And then like I was saying, what I really think is fun about this is you can just pop these doors open if you're just somewhere completely remote and you can have the full outdoor experience with these doors open and just doing whatever you want to do. You can have really good airflow through here and stuff like that as well. No, oh, that is really cool. And I love all the windows you get. And we were looking earlier at what's going on with some of these windows so right here. That's going to be this one right here, this little pocket window, really nice latches on here for how the windows work. And it'll pop open like that right there. Actually locks in place wherever you want it at. And then the nice thing that's really cool about it, you have this little latch on here that actually will connect to the window like so. Oh, I see it, what you're doing, the you, blind. And then you'll have a screen there as well. So you have your bug screen if you want to make sure that nothing is coming in to your RV. That is really cool. This is a really, really awesome compact floor plan. I yeah. mean, I love 
what they've done with space. The only thing that is kind of, uh, I guess the only want if I had to figure out would be, it seems like I could use a little bit more like drawer style storage. Yeah. I know there's some up there. There's some up there, that's really it. Yeah. Um, I will point out you do have storage underneath the bed. There are no drawers for it though, and it does come with some tables. And then they did give you one little interesting set of drawer storage, and I'm gonna move around here. Sure. And come up underneath here, underneath this flooring here, you have two drawers that pull out oh. that are like some little drawers underneath here. They give you the pet bowl, so if you do have pets that you can set their dog food and water in there. But yeah, I definitely understand though. I, I would like to see more drawer storage as well. It's not bad though. It's yeah. And when you flip this up, that storage kind of makes up for some of it. Yeah. But you know, it's it's really cool. I mean, there is quite a bit of storage, but you're right. There's just a little bit of wardrobe storage missing. That being said though, this is a really, really unique, innovative interior. And I, I really think that for, you know, even if you're just traveling with your family, right? And you just want to be able to get out, go somewhere that you plan on staying at a hotel. Yeah. This could be a really, really great way of getting you to that place. Like for instance, if you wanted to go, let's say you want to drive up to, um, you want to drive up to Bozeman, Montana, and you got a cabin up there. Driving up there in something like this would be so much better than driving up there in a pickup truck or yeah. a SUV. A lot more comfort. You're gonna have everything you need in here to make that a very comfortable experience. You can, like we said, just pull over on the side of the road instead of having to stop at a gas station to use things like the bathroom or to you know, make food or prepare food. You have Make everything. a sandwich. Yeah. That's what everyone likes to do on the road, apparently. Exactly, make a sandwich. right? <laughs> yeah, so you have everything right here to be able to do that. No, that is very, very nice. Yeah. Camera wise, um, I know we have one backup camera. Does this support side view cameras so as well? This one does not have side view cameras on. I was actually surprised to see that. I was looking around this one yesterday trying to see how it was all equipped. It does not have side cameras, unfortunately. I don't know why. But um, uh, you know what? I, I don't think it needs it. I so, was only saying that because it, I didn't yeah. see them. <laughs> but with the tow mirrors that you have, I mean, like driving my F450, I don't need side view yeah. cameras to, to be safer. I just yeah. know my tow mirrors help me. So I wouldn't really yeah. need them. Um, it's just interesting because I've seen them on so many class yeah. Bs. So actually I was driving this yesterday and this is what I realized because you have the windows all along the sides and you even have the back windows that you can see through from the driver's seat, you really don't feel like you need them. I was very surprised to see, this is the only motorhome I've ever sat in where I feel like from the driver's seat, when you swivel your head around and use your mirrors, you can actually see around the entire RV with the way the windows are set up. So I was pretty impressed to have that feel as I was driving this around and feeling like I can really see every aspect of the road from the driver's seat. Yeah, absolutely. And real quick, you have your hand on this, so you got to show me what this is. Yeah, so this is a table that flips out. Again, little things that they do in these Class B motorhomes that you don't see in a, little, a lot of other RVs like things like this little felt strip right here to make sure this doesn't scrape along that side when you pull it out. This is going to be a table that comes right here so that you can have this workstation from that seat right there. And it's just a nice little space they use. They give you outlets and USB ports underneath there as well. So you can hook up different stuff like computers or tablets or whatever you may have on this space. So just another little workstation counter that you yeah. have from that seat up front. What about the other seat? Does this one flip around too? That one will swivel around as well. Okay. So they both flip over. So yeah, you have both your captain's chairs up here. And again, if you have a family of four, I don't know if I'd want to travel with any more than that because you're not going to have seatbelts to support it. But if you have a family of four, whoops, <laughs> you have that flexibility. Is this supposed to stop here so, or? Yeah, so you... this here is interesting. I was looking at this too because it does come all the way out. But I suppose the function of it is it'll stop, you know, somewhere right around there and you can use it as just a little additional countertop space. I don't know why. I guess they don't have any underneath point to latch it at, yeah. but it'd be nice if there was some sort of back support. What's on the back of it, though? A magnet. So that actually so holds, that just holds it in place when it's it in, in there. When you push it in, yeah. That's so, certainly unique. Definitely unique. Awesome. Well, I really appreciate it. You know, we'll go ahead and wrap the video up from in here. But, you know, Miles, this is such a cool van. And, you know, I'm, I'm a big fan of Class B's. And I know that they are hard to get in because people really buy these things yeah. quickly. Um, What is the asking price of this specific so, one, you know? Our MSRP on this is 122 and you'll have to forgive me because I do not know our exact sales price on it because it just came in like one or two days ago. So I don't know exactly what our asking price will be, but it's probably going to be over 110000 for to get into something like yeah. this. And honestly, for something like this, that's not that bad. To give you an idea, my father's pleasure way that he just got rid of to get his new Winnebago, that one had like a $170,000 MSRP before the pandemic, yeah. which means now it's probably closer to $200,000. Yeah. And then the Winnebago Winnebago era that he has now had like a hundred and fifty thousand dollar MSRP. So yeah. to be well under that for something that's similar, 
is uh, is pretty nice. But again, yeah. you're going to pay more per square foot for a Class B versus any other RV on the market by far. Yeah, it's definitely a treat to be able to make a video of this as well. I know over the past almost, I mean, probably 18 months now, this is one of those products where most times these are purchased prior to arrival and we don't even have them on the lot to be able to make videos of them because they're so hard to keep in stock, so hard to get in stock. So it's nice to be able to make a video of it for you and show you what these offer. And it's something that, you know, is a more unique specialty product that's not quite so easy for people to find out there in the marketplace. You know, this is such a cool uh, opportunity to come out here because oftentimes when I'm reviewing RVs, I don't have all the specs in front of me and there's information that he sees on a day-to-day -day basis because people come up to him and ask him questions and then he has to research it that I just don't know. So it's been really nice having you out here, brother. Yeah, it's been a pleasure, man. I've had a lot of fun and it's really awesome to get to meet you and make videos with you and then also get videos out there for your audience to take a look at and see some different stuff that we have here for them to show. So I appreciate it too, man. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to his channel, which is Miles RV. I'll link it in the description of this video. And again, if you haven't had a chance to subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate that. Please give us a thumbs up and we'll talk to you again very soon.